On March 12 of 1992, the remains of a male was discovered in Sand Canyon in Nevada after police officers received an anonymous tip. The area the remains were found in is located in Nevada's high desert, about 100 miles away from Reno. An autopsy was done and it was believed that a man's life was taken in the summer or spring of 1991. It was not possible to identify him, so he was named Sand Canyon John Doe. Clay reconstructions were made to give people nightmares, I mean, in hopes that someone would recognize him, but no one did. He had auburn hair, blue eyes, at least one root canal, and eight of his teeth were missing. In the vicinity of where the remains were discovered, a dark colored hat with the words Heavenly Lake Tahoe was found. Also blue jeans, black underwear, black running shoes, a damaged dog collar, and a blanket. The damaged dog collar is interesting because a resident of the area that lives close to where the remains were found noticed a dog that would occasionally wander close to his house. It is possible that a dog belonged to the Sand Canyon John Doe. Lieutenant Jerry Pattinson of the Major Crimes Division of the Lyon County Sheriff's Office recently took another look at a case. He was listening to a crime podcast about advances in technology combining DNA science of genealogy data. In 2020, he contacted Parabon Nanolabs. Parabon was able to find relatives of the Sand Canyon John Doe. A DNA sample was taken from a man who investigators believed was the brother of the victim. In May of 2021, it was announced that Sand Canyon John Doe is Vincent Marion Trapp. He was born in Sacramento, California. He served in the US Army in the late 1960s. Vincent was 43 years old when his life was taken. Investigators found that he lived in Yerington, Nevada in the spring of 1991. They also announced that they do have persons of interest but cannot disclose any names. An image of Vincent was made public by investigators hoping that someone has some useful information. On May 8, 1992, the body of a male was found by irrigation workers in Hidalgo County, Texas. The autopsy revealed that he passed away a week before he was found and that he had been stabbed. Investigators were unable to identify the man and he was called John Doe. He was laid to rest in Hillcrest Cemetery in Edinburgh, Texas. A composite sketch was made of the man, hoping someone would recognize him, but no one did and the case went cold. Her Melinda Chavez works for the Hidalgo County Major Crimes Unit and she recently took another look at the case. They used the DNA sample they had of the John Doe and submitted it to the National Missing and Unidentified Person System to look for any matches. There they found a woman who they believed was the mother of the John Doe. The woman said that she had a son who went missing in 1992. After a DNA test, it was confirmed that her son Benjamin was indeed the John Doe. 19-year-old Benjamin Benetti lived in Zion, Illinois. He met a 17-year-old girl from McAllen, Texas in Illinois when her parents worked there. In March of 1992, he went to McAllen and got engaged to the girl. A week after Benjamin's body was found, his mom received a call from a mechanic in a Rio Grande Valley. The mechanic said that Benjamin left his car in the shop to get fixed, but never picked it up. Benjamin's mother then reported him missing to a few local police departments. Sadly, the connection between a missing Benjamin and a John Doe that was found was not made until now. Investigators also talked to Benjamin's fiance. She said that he received a phone call and that he told her he needed to go to Mexico and that she never saw him again. She never reported him missing because her family made fun of her, saying Benjamin left and used her. Benjamin's mom saved all the documents and letters that she sent to all local law enforcement agencies in hopes to find her son. She never gave up. She was determined to find him. It was because she submitted her DNA to the National Missing 
an unidentified prison system that her son could be identified. Benjamin's remains were given to her so that she can give him a proper funeral. He was buried in Maple Park Cemetery. On the headstone he is described as kind and caring, a fine young man who his family will always love and never forget. If you have any information regarding this case that might be useful, you are asked to call this number. On December 21st, 1987, the body of a female was discovered on the side of a road near Lincolnville in Marion County, Kansas. The autopsy estimated that she passed away somewhere between June and August 1987. She was described as Caucasian, roughly 5 feet and 7 inches tall and weighed approximately 120 pounds. The woman had light brown hair and a tattoo of a cross on her left forearm. A composite sketch was made showing what she might have looked like. She was named the Marion County Jane Doe. In April 2019, the Kansas Bureau of Investigation worked alongside a DNA Doe project to absolve the case. They used DNA belonging to the victim to try and find her relatives using public DNA databases. In October of the same year, investigators found two people who they believed was the parents of the victim. Then in December 2019, after some more DNA testing, it was announced by the Kansas Bureau of Investigation that the identity of Marion County Jane Doe is Michelle Yvonne Carnell Burton. 22-year-old Michelle lived in Wichita, Kansas. She left her family's home in Cherryville in 1986 and her family lost touch with her. Her whereabouts after she left home is still not known yet. Investigators are now focusing on who took Michelle's life. They are looking for information from the public.